The next big thing about sustainability, enough talking, start doing. Why you should tap into sustainable venturing. Hi, I'm Michiel van Praat and I build new corporate ventures at Bundle. And today I'm giving you three reasons why your company should get into sustainable venturing and the benefits you can gain from it. Policies and consumer behavior have made massive shifts towards sustainable practices and it will be increasingly important to understand. 1. The power of a more circular economy. 2. The power of partnerships and setting up ecosystems. And 3. The untapped potential of new market opportunities. More and more companies are looking at sustainable business models and that's a really good thing. In the short term, policies and consumer behavior is going to shift to more sustainable practices. Just take a look at what happens with the growing demand of plant-based meat, for example. And in the long term, we will be challenged with more societal issues. Think about material scarcity and the ever-increasing amount of carbon in our atmosphere, which is making our habitats warmer and disrupting everything we are depending on. Because of climate feedback loops, such as the defrosting of methane reserves in the north, things will only go faster and faster. And yet, bringing up these issues in the boardroom can be a difficult issue. The board recognize the problem, but they don't have a clue how to yeah, tackle these problems without putting restrictive measurements on themselves, yeah, making the company vulnerable for competition. More and more companies like Volvo or IKEA are looking at these issues from a different viewpoint with opportunities in mind. My advice, don't wait too long to venture into these opportunities yourself. Steering your business toward a sustainable and social vision with new products and new services does not happen overnight. But with a sustainable venturing approach, it is possible to quickly export the rain and find the right product market fit. But first, what is a corporate venture in the first place? When a corporation builds, takes an interest or partners up with a startup to obtain a competitive advantage, you can call this a corporate venture. And this corporation can bring much more to your company than only revenue. It can bring knowledge and insights about new technologies, new markets, and can even bring a new mindset to your company. And with this startup, you can experiment and learn, enter untapped markets, improve existing uh, markets and existing revenue streams at speed and low investment thanks to lean methodologies. Let's dive into these three reasons why you should go for sustainable venturing in your company. Reason 1. Understand the circular economy opportunities and seize untapped resources. Yeah, let me give you some numbers about our current economic system. A linear system where we extract things from the earth, produce something, uh, consume it, throw it away afterwards. Yeah, it's get dumped or burned, converted into gases, send it into the atmosphere, end of the exercise. And we often forget that our population is growing every day. Uh, but we only have one Earth, with one limited amount of resources. So in our current linear system, 85% of plastic packaging value is wasted, get burned at the end of life. 87% of unsold clothes is thrown out or burned in incinerators. And in Europe, less than 40% of electronic waste gets recycled. Yeah, if you think about it, it's just insane. And with a circular economy approach, yeah, we can tackle some of these problems. It's an economic system aimed at minimizing waste and keeping raw materials as high quality as possible. And with a focus on regeneration, recovering the damage we already did, and with a social responsibility, giving people decent work and pay. And IKEA understood the responsibility and their impact on the current system. Uh, yeah, they are looking at, at new ways to turn their old products into resources for new ones. Uh, think about subscription models for the kitchen and the resale of refurbished furniture. And these sustainable ventures can yeah, act on certain uh, untapped value streams or look for ways to sell their uh, value to other companies or get even rid of materials uh, in the value stream to reduce waste. Deep dive into the world of circular business models and see which ones you can apply to your business. 
Set up partnerships and get more grip on your ecosystem. An ecosystem is a network of partners who all share the vision of creating value together. Start building these ecosystems and work with partners to address yeah, sustainable challenges and gain insights quickly. This can be done in different ways, for example, by entering into a joint venture with a partner or by yeah, starting up venturing yourself. Makes sense, isn't it? But yeah, let's give you an example. As you notice, the energy and mobility transition is taking off. Volvo sets themselves a target and want to sell only electric cars by 2030. And with the low price of renewable energy and the more structural goals of governments, yeah, our energy network needs new products, needs new services. Think about charging stations, domestic batteries, or even the software that makes it all work. So yeah, what can Volvo do next to making cars? Uh, yeah, they can offer extra value in this space by setting up new ventures and partnerships that focus on charging stations or supporting software. And these concepts can be tested quickly in different cities yeah, and they can learn and decide at speed what works and what doesn't work. Yeah, everything in a specific context. And these ventures can even sell their solutions to cities, expand at their own pace, but always with a Volvo mindset tailored to Volvo's mobility solutions. And in this way, Volvo can expand and control an ecosystem of electric vehicle solutions and meet their strategic targets. Explore new markets and opportunities yourself. Startups who work together with a bigger company in a venture can learn, make decisions and pivot quickly. Yeah, they can ideate and set up things that maybe the parent company never has thought of. A startup I am watching with great interest is Amacom. The startup creates accessible micro-insurances for expensive cameras, cars and even projectors. And these micro-insurances make people more inclined to lend their good stuff to people yeah, in whom they maybe have less trust. So if something bad happens to it, yeah, the product will be refunded. So AMA creates trust and promotes a sharing economy, which is yeah, inherently a sustainable economy. So high quality products are shared more and bought less, creating less waste. I will personally buy less stuff myself, but use a micro-insurance of Amacom and rent a really good camera to go on holiday and take pictures, for example. Insurance companies or the banking sector can, in addition to invest their money in sustainable projects, also come up with new financial products that embrace sustainability. These ideas can be tested together in a corporate startup format yeah, in order to learn faster, cancel bad ideas in early stage and invest as many resources as possible in things that have been proven to work. There are sustainable opportunities everywhere and with the right attitude and the right team on your side, your company can find these opportunities and contribute to a sustainable future. If your company is not taking action in this space, Others will, and they will be ahead of you. The time is now. If you found this video insightful, give it a thumbs up. The more likes we get, the more videos like this we will create. Check out bundle.com for more corporate venturing insights. Ciao.